Following a 2021 Eastern Conference Finals run, the Atlanta Hawks got bounced in the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs last season by the one-seeded Miami Heat. What was Atlanta even doing in the eight spot out East to begin with? Put it like this, Atlanta is making sure that they don't end up eighth out East next year. They're getting some much needed reinforcements. Atlanta is acquiring DeJounte Murray from the San Antonio Spurs. I got to read to you guys what San Antonio is getting back, or dare I say not getting back, for the services of DeJounte Murray, their all-star. Atlanta is sending three first-round picks, a future pick swap to the Spurs, and Danilo Gallinari. You heard me correctly. That's the entire package. The Hawks are sending a 2023 first-round pick that was from Charlotte, their own 2025 and 27 first-round picks, unprotected. There's also a pick swap that the Spurs can choose to act on in 2026. Most notably, though, Atlanta does not trade John Collins in the deal to get DeJounte Murray. Keep in mind, DeJounte averaged 21, 9, and 8 as a first-time All-Star last year. A home run get for Atlanta, if I do say so myself. Let me be clear with you guys. This allows the Atlanta organization, the franchise, to see what exactly works well with Trey Young. At least gives them a first real glimpse of that from the backcourt. You're putting an all-star around Trey, a guy that can have the basketball in his hands 75, 80% of the game and take Trey off the ball, a position that Young really struggled with. I went to a lot of Hawks games last year, specifically in quarters one through three. I got a lot of Trey Young naysayers from family and friends that say he's on the basketball entirely too much. He shoots too many step back threes. You put a guy like DeJounte Murray on the ball in efforts, and hopefully he will change things and make life a lot easier for Trey. And he'll become a guy that just knocks down open three pointers, which he's actually really good at. He just doesn't have a lot of open looks because he's on the basketball so much for Atlanta to be successful. Also DeJounte Murray under that San Antonio Spurs regime, if nothing else plays hard on defense. Atlanta could use guys that play hard on defense through the first three quarters. They can play in the fourth, but you got to get to the fourth quarter first, and that's where I think DeJounte Murray can another piece of that puzzle be a difference maker for Atlanta, a team that needs it. Now you got somewhat of a big three, definitely a big two in the backcourt in Trey and DeJounte. Now you keep John Collins. and You get to see what you got. Collins had a bad year last year. He'd admit that himself. What you got now? Could you be a top four seed out east? Are you going to play hard every night in the regular season with DeJounte? You get out in the fast break. Murray's really great at the passing lanes, picking them bad boys, getting out, getting steals, transition, attacking the rim. This is an exciting team in Atlanta now. This is a very exciting team that the Atlanta Hawks have been able to fleece together. The other piece of this puzzle, if you're a Spurs fan, I know you're, you're mad right now. I mean, no one wants to hear you trading an all-star, and all you get back is some picks and in Daniel in Gallinari. No disrespect to Daniel, he's He can hoop, but – what Spurs fans want to hear that? That's not great. San Antonio, clearly, there's some type of disconnect. I got to believe, and I don't know this, but I'm just guessing, Coach Pop and DeJounte can't get along. That's my guess. For him to give up on a guy like that, I mean, it's the same stuff we talk about with Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. Ever since Tom Brady left, all you can do is scratch your head at some of the decision made, made, uh, decisions that Pop has made and Coach Belichick have made with no Duncan, no Brady around. It's been questionable at best with both of those gentlemen who had legends leave their franchises. I don't get this one. I know DeJounte's got a lot of growing up to do. I've watched a couple of his Instagram lives, and when I left them bad boys, I thought to myself, man, you're young, and you act very young. But look, you get this dude for two more years at $16 million a season, it's worth seeing what you got if you're the Hawks. Even if it doesn't work out, at least you know what not to put around Trey Young going forward as he is the face of your franchise right now. If it works out with DeJounte and not with Collins, you got some trade bait at the deadline next year. You can trade Collins somewhere. If it does work out with Collins, like once again, if he returns to the guy that he was uh, over a year ago, it doesn't work out with DeJounte Murray, teams will remember that he was an all-star in this league, and he will definitely have some trade value on the open market. Home run attempt for Atlanta. This is a fleece to me, y'all. You got to commend the Hawks for getting aggressive, putting out one of their better assets, and leaving 
keeping their asset. They keep John Collins and end up with a great talent in DeJounte Murray. It's worth the try if you're Atlanta to get better in the Eastern Conference that's got Giannis in it, Kevin Durant in it, now James Harden and Joel Embiid are together. Got to give Atlanta credit for doing something and not staying packed. They acquired DeJounte Murray from the San Antonio Spurs. 